All right, I'm going to show you how to assemble the barbershop and shoe shine shop. It's really easy. Let me show it to you first what it looks like. This is a unpainted one, of course, that we just assembled yesterday. I'll have the finished one to show you here in a little bit. But it's a very simple rectangular building, very small. You've got barbershop and shoe shine here on the sign. Of course, you can change the text there if you want. It also says shave and shine $5 there on the window. I recommend that you paint your pieces first, at least these two pieces, and then engrave afterwards. That will mean that your sign will look nice and crisp. So that's the way I would do it, but that's up to you. And it's also made to fit together with the uh, store if you like. They will just nestle into each other just like this really nicely. On either side, it doesn't matter. Or you can use them as individual uh, stores or shops. It doesn't matter, whichever you prefer. So let me go over all the pieces for the barbershop and then we'll put it together uh, together. <laughs> uh, before I start, I also wanna show you, this is the glue that I'm currently using. It's Loctite Super Glue Gel Control. I really like this because it doesn't run all over the place like the, like the liquid does, so I prefer this, but you can use whatever you like. Uh, another one that we use often, I've got here uh, off camera. We use this one quite often as well. I like that too, again, the gel, not the liquid, so. These are ones that we've started using lately and I really like them a lot. I also keep a tissue handy in case I uh, get somewhere I don't want it and I can uh, quickly rub it off or if I cry because I get sad, either one. So here's all the pieces laid out in front of us. I'll just walk through them really quickly. There's the front piece right there at the front of the store. The, uh, the trim that goes right here on the store. The sides and then the trim that goes on the sides of it right here. I'll show you that again in just a minute, but you'll see that you've got the wide trim that goes right here facing you. And then when you rotate it, you've got the skinny trim there and there. Again, wide trim on the back and skinny trim there on the sides. So uh, wide trim on the front and back, skinny on the sides. So front piece, sides, back. You've got your trim, trim, the skinny trim, skinny trim right there. Then here you've got the frame that goes around the window, frame that goes around the door. You've got the barber's pole here. You got the sign that has the two layers, the one with the text on it, and then the backing piece, just like this. And then you have the piece that goes inside behind the window, or it actually makes up the window and the door with the score lines on the door. And you'll see that that's the piece that goes right here. And then the last two pieces you have are the roof supports. And on yours, they're going to have it engraved that say supports on it right there. And I'll try to show you inside here if I can. That's actually not inside this one, but it's also going to be inside the, the, uh, the store as well. And I don't know if you can even see that, but it does say that it has engraved right there supports just so you know what they are. And uh, you'll have two supports in here. And the way this works is the these two rectangles go in here to hold the, the roof up. And then you have the other side of the roof that sits on top of this piece here. So let's go ahead and put it together uh, in real time. I'll, I'll speed it up a little bit when needed. Uh, but this one's really easy. So let's do this. We're going to start by putting on the uh, door frame and the window frame here on the front. And we're also going to assemble the barber's pole. And again, I would paint all of these pieces before you assemble it. That'll be a lot easier and it'll look nice and clean. All right, now we can put the uh, barber's pole onto the side of the building. Just make sure that you leave space for the, the trim. And you can kind of put it as high as you want to. It's up to you on that artist choice on the height. Just like that. Then the next piece I'm gonna do is the sign. Again, I would definitely paint this first. That's up to you, but I would definitely do that. And then we can put the sign on the building. Once again, like so many of these things, it's an option for you as far as where you wanna place it exactly. As far as how high on the building, that is up to you. All right, this part is really important. It's easy, but you may do it wrong like I did just a minute ago. So pay attention here. The way that these, these walls go together is like this right here, not like this. All right, so you gotta do it just like this 
where this tab right here goes into this slot and the same thing on the other side. So we'll do it together, but I wanted to point that out to you. So I'll grab some glue right here. All right, while that is setting up there, I will then put this side piece in here. All right, then the back piece, same kind of idea. Make sure you don't get it upside down because that will not be awesome. There's the back piece. This is the top right here, that's the bottom. And because I have this upside down on the table, I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing because that's really easy to get it backwards or upside down if I'm not paying attention. All right, so now I can put in the inside piece, which is this piece right here. And make sure that you, since I have it upside down on the table, make sure you have it the correct orientation here on the table when you put it in here. And note, just like this, inside this finished one, you see that this piece right here, which it, this piece right here, which is this here, is uh, aligned to the bottom of the, uh, of the store or the barbershop right here. So it's aligned to the bottom. So in this case, I'm going to then align this also to the bottom. There's my graphics there. I'm gonna put it in just like this. I'm gonna align it right there to the bottom. Okay, let me take that out, throw some glue on it. And I'm gonna put glue on the, on the face here so I don't accidentally get in the wrong place. So I'm gonna just put a double, couple of dots in here. Again, you can use whatever kind of glue you want, whatever you prefer. For me, doing this live with these videos, it's a lot easier to use super glue because I don't have to worry about things taking a long time to set up. On the other hand, I also do have to worry about my fingers getting glued in there. Uh, that's never happened. Uh, yes, it has. All right. Now I can put in the other roof supports, which are going to go back here. Again, I'll show it to you on this finished one. They are right there and right there. Again, they're going to align to the bottom. So... See if I put this where you can see it. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple dots of glue on the bottom of this one, this guy here, on the back of it. Make sure that I do not glue my fingers to it. And I'll set it in here, and I'll show you where we are again. So we are aligned to the bottom of the building, right? Not to the top. We're aligned to the bottom of the building right here. And the same thing over here. This other one is going to get aligned to the bottom and not to the top. And for the roof, I can just put a couple dots of glue on the tops of these supports. And there you go. There's an assembled barbershop just like that. Let me know if you, have, if you guys have any questions. I'd love to help you and I'd love to see what you guys make with them.